Coach O'Brien, how was the experience? You know, it's just a um, uh, once in a lifetime experience for just about everybody went on the trip. You know, all the things that we're able to experience, but but the experience as a group. You know, just the, um, the trip over. You know, <laughs> ten and a half hour flight from um, Dallas to um, we flew to Dallas, and from Dallas we flew right to Rome, and then um, and then everything we did in between. You know, being able to experience. Uh, uh, the Roman architecture, uh, the Colosseum, the Forum, um, Vatican City, uh, the Sistine Chapel, everything that Michelangelo did, uh, the Sistine um, a Chapel that uh, Michelangelo, and then uh, uh, the Last Supper by Da Vinci, Leonardo by Da Vinci. You know, it's, it's, you know, the fact that our kids are going to be able to get three credits from um, being able to write up their papers, do their oral reports, keeping their um, Journals. Uh, that's something that they, they will remember the rest of their lives. But, but from a basketball standpoint, just being able to build camaraderie, uh, develop some unity, uh, watch some of these guys play. For the, you know, I've never coached them really. You know, just watching them play. You know, you don't coach these games and necessarily win them, or to put up numbers, or to, to draw any kind of conclusions. You know, I wanted to see uh, different guys play with. Um, uh, different groups. Um, we we're able to do that. We played four games. We saw some um, some some good teams. Um, a couple of pro teams and a couple of teams maybe not to, not at, not uh, maybe at our level or our conferences level. But um, saw a lot of good things. But the, the experience of uh, you know, like uh, last night we were in Lake Como. Went out for a uh, dinner. And just listen to those guys talk about their experience and how thankful they were. And I'd just like to say a huge thank you to uh, Katina Jackson, who did a great job of fundraising for us for this trip, and, and all the uh, great uh, Cougar um, boosters, donors, alumni that, that uh, donated money so our kids could experience this. I'd just like to say a heartfelt, congrats, uh, heartfelt thank you to them. And um, uh, it's a great experience, but I'm glad we're back. I saw one of the... Uh the team sing birthday to your, your granddaughter. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Well, how many two-year-olds get to celebrate their birthday in uh, Lake Como or Milan? You know, it's just a, a wonderful uh, experience. But these kids, they, you know, they're used to Maisie. They're used to being around her. She's almost like a little sister to most of them. Uh, the new new kids, they're like uh, Dejan and Bryson, uh, Nate. Uh, Fabian, uh, those guys that played last year, they used to be around Macy, and uh, she's like a little sister to them, and they're like their, and they're like her uncle. But um, you know, that's uh, that's uh, Papa K's uh, heart right there. Did you get a sense of, I guess, considering the camaraderie, the any growth or in the team on these almost two weeks? Uh, hard to say. You know, just because you went on the trip, I mean, your team's going to get better. It means you have the opportunity to, but, uh, um, you know, we'll see. When we get into the uh, the fall, we'll give our kids some deck time off. We, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're, uh, they don't know whether they're on foot or horseback right now because they just got, the, it's 2 o'clock in the morning this right now. But school starts Monday, so they have Sunday to recover. Uh, we have a team event we have to be at tomorrow, Shasta Blast, for our athletic department. They are students. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow. Get started in school on uh, Monday. Let them get acclimated and get back into uh, get the routine for uh, their classes. Um, and then um, uh, we won't do a whole lot this week as far as basketball is concerned, but get started the following week. And pretty soon it's going to be October. Next month is September. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.